From the Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge, it is EJ with Trevor Daniel. Trevor. Yo, yo, what's up? Let me just say, so I talked to you. I feel like I'm always talking to you, which is not an issue. That's tight. I like not it. Not a problem like whatsoever. It. Yeah. I just saw you perform, of course, at the Village. You killed it. Thank How you. was the energy out there? How did it feel to be back? Tell me all of the things. Yeah, it was fun. It felt really good, you know? Uh, like, everybody was, like, jamming out. It was a little whiff, like wafty or whatever, windy on it's stage. Like foggy and stuff. Yeah, like that. right, right, right. But uh, the wind kept like blowing in my face. But I was like, oh shit, it's a little. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's all good. It's, uh, good. it's, good. it's good. It's a little cold. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> How do you feel when you see that there are people out in the crowd, right? Uh -huh. And they're like singing back to you. They're jamming out. Like, what is the feeling that you get when you see something like that? It it makes me really happy. You know. Uh, like on the whoa, whoa, whoa part on Past Life, they were just really singing back and that was really awesome. Just, it, it felt really good. It felt of really course, good. the song Alone, mm -hmm. Fire. Thank you. Um, we talked about it earlier, how it's one of my favorites. It comes from the sample Alice DJ, Alone, Better Off Alone. Thank Tell you. us how did that come about? Um, well, I was going through like the longest breakup of my life. It, it, it literally took forever mm -hmm. uh, to actually break up. Um, and yeah, I was on the way to the studio, and I heard uh, Ava Max, uh, like she had the My Head and My Heart, right? I, that's, yes, that's, right, right, yeah. right. Um, From the ATC. Yeah, but it, so it was like the all around the world, like flip. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know, I don't really know what I want to make today, but I've always wanted to make, like, uh, you know, an Alice DJ flip. Right. And because that was the next song that came on in the playlist. And uh, that's been like my favorite song forever so we just did it and it was the first time i ever linked with these producers so i walked in and i was like yo let's you know let's flip the song so when you say the longest breakup ever can you please because i feel like a lot of people go through these situations especially right now where people are like dumping people left and right, right. now that quarantine is over that's exactly what it was was it really yeah well it, it sounds really messed up but like um yeah we got together in qu quarantine and uh she moved in, and yeah, it, it started just kind of deteriorating, so. The first time, when she first moved in, were you just like, okay, this is fine, this is good, she's in here? Yep. And then what was the breaking point? Like, at what point did you know that that relationship was over? When things started opening back up, and like, things started happening again, um, she's cool. I don't want to like, make it seem bad, right. like, it was both of us, but like, I was just busy, and that was new. Uh, to her and you know kind of me a little bit so it was like I was just busy um, and I didn't really know how to give her much time right. and also we would just like fight about the same thing over and over so it was just like one of those type of situations and uh, yeah and I was just like I, I feel like I'm better off alone so it felt like a perfect response song so moving forward do you feel like you've learned something from that relationship where you're just like I am never doing that again yeah, uh, I mean, hopefully we don't have another pandemic where, you know, you kind of like trauma bond a little God bit or something, but <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I learned a lot. There's definitely certain things I'll, I will never do from that again, but, you know, I wouldn't say I would never move in with somebody again. But. What do you feel like you've learned about yourself during that time? Um, that I, I definitely feel like I learned that I need, like, movement things happening because otherwise I start getting really anxious because uh, if I'm not doing anything I feel stuck mm -hmm. no matter how much like over COVID like you know like, like falling in past life or going crazy but it was it didn't feel like it was because it, it looked like numbers on the screen you know um, but but coming out and playing shows and seeing like faces to the numbers or whatever and like people really like like, like touched by the songs it, it really changes the way it feels so i love that so tell us what are you working on next um well i'm working on a new album that hopefully i can release early on in the in the new year and um yeah it's going to be a full length mm -hmm. the first actual full length album uh because I've, I've done like six songs seven songs ten songs but this one i'm gonna have a, a good pack of music for everyone to jam out to so are you hella excited for it? Very excited, because I feel like th 
that was then, I, I was really excited for that, but that was a lot of stuff that I, I, I made with my friends like when I had a writer's block. And then for whatever reason, after that came out, I felt like there was like another level unlocked. Mm -hmm. So just like the melodies and like the words and everything just feel like they're just really connecting now. Right. And like in my mind and then what comes out, um, you know, production, everything just feels like it's like really building a world. And that's what I've been missing, I feel like. Like that's what, because when I used to listen to Kid Cudi, I would open up, you know, Man on the Moon and, and like it was CD so like you could just like Read the Touch notes and, and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. and like see, see him like sitting in this like space chair or whatever, mm -hmm. like, like yeah, in a tuxedo or whatever. It just looked tight. So, like, I want to give people like something that they can really dive into and like feel like they can leave school or leave whatever they're dealing with and just kind of tap out and just listen to the music and just feel like that's like a whole time period of their life and just imagine whatever they want and like piece it together how they they're gonna piece it together you know i, I was telling when we got finished um talking maybe like a couple of weeks ago i think it was like october or something like that yeah. and i remember telling somebody how i just love how your mind works like i feel like you are thank so you. creative for your own good does thank that make you. sense thank you I like it's, it's so thank good you. i love the way how you will look at a situation and how you will turn you know a song out of a situation that's been happening with you. You know what I mean? Thank you. I so I, I really dig that. Um, I appreciate you. You killed it on The Village. Thank you. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Of course. You guys are dope. Shout of out iHeart.